Good evening, everyone. I was going to keep this brief and under 180 characters, but after discussing this topic with a friend of mine, I realized that I have a lot more to say on this issue, so I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to talk about a difficult subject. I'm going to talk about mental illness. In the wake of not one, but two mass shootings, a familiar social media script online I find the discussion of, and debate is around everything but what the actual issue is. Now this isn't about race, this isn't about religion, this isn't about politics or gun control. This is about society's greatest failure. Our elephant in the room. Everyone rushes to find a simple answer, something that will be a magical pill to solve all of this. And the truth is, it's not that simple. This is a problem that is deeper seated than most are willing to admit. It starts with the mind. It's time that we start shifting focus on mental health. It's time that we start investing in the section of society that we like to set down and forget about. Taking a moment to think about what would drive someone to harm others and themselves. Think about what desperation and utter hopelessness factors into that decision. That they believe their lives are so far beyond redemption. That they believe they're so truly inconsequential that they feel the only way they can escape is through mass destruction. Such massive destruction that people need to take notice against them. How is it that so many people have reached that point when we have a society that is supposed to be more connected than we ever have before? That's the question we should be asking. We need to stop dividing each other by making this a red versus blue issue. This is not an issue of gun control. In an ideal situation where people with mental illnesses or issues have fully restricted access to firearms and ammunition, it's only going to push them to find alternate methods to carry out their actions. Citing the examples of such attacks like the Oklahoma City bombing, the Killdozer Rampage, not every act of violence starts at the end of a barrel. This is not an issue of politics. As has been seen, every single political faction has an extreme, without exception. At every point of human history, there have been zealots who go beyond what anyone considers to be reasonable in the name of their cause. This is not an issue of race. Violence is colorblind. Every race has its violent and bloody history. Every person has the capacity to harm another. It's only our individual conscience that determines what those limits are. That is universal. This is not an issue of religion. As with politics, every religion has, ex has its extremes. The core of each religion is similar in that it sets virtues of which to live by, the ideal standard of what to aspire to. No religion is based in hate or violence. This is an issue of mental health and access to the help that people need. It's especially bad for those living in regions without adequate financial support for such programs. When your choice is between spending thousands of dollars a month to help access what you need versus spending $20 to make the problem end permanently, when that person is beyond hope, it's not difficult to understand what action they're going to take. And before anyone out there calls, uses this as a call for gun control, $20 can buy alcohol, it can buy rat poison, it can buy a bus ticket, it can buy all kinds of things that can be turned into a weapon if the person is desperate enough. It's time to stop making excuses and start paying attention to those who desperately need it. I'm sad to say that I don't know how to fix this problem. And that in itself is a problem. Society doesn't know. So it's time to start focusing on how we start fixing it. With desperation rising, with the constant threats of global extinction, threats of war, famine, droughts, poverty, whatever crisis is next to be on the headlines, we need to figure out how to fix our minds 
before we drown in the anxiety that is the existentialism. Put down your arms and stop fighting each other because we're fighting ourselves. It's time that we work together to fix this because mental illness is a disease that we're all infected with and we simply don't want to acknowledge it.